Well, hello friends. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about food at the Atlantis and cost. You hear a lot about how expensive it is to eat at the Atlantis. Uh, right now we are outside Todd English's Olives. I uh, just had a wonderful breakfast and I wanted to share the menu with you. Um, if you take a look, really, the menu prices here are not really out of line with what you would pay in some high-end eateries. Um, we just had breakfast and we had the Bahamian style pancakes and this is the second time I've had these because they are absolutely delicious uh, as, well as, as well as the red velvet waffles um, and as you can see $16 isn't out of line uh, from what we would pay in some places in the States. Um, Continental breakfast, $20. Okay, maybe that's a little more um, expensive. Uh, also, they have a lunch here, so you can see some of the handhelds. Yeah, a burger, 20 bucks. So that is a little expensive. Um, but on the whole, we have found that the food here at the Atlantis has not been uh, overly expensive. If you're not eating in a fine dining establishment, which you would consider Todd English's to be, um, the food really isn't that bad, uh, badly priced. So, um, and to talk to you a little bit about it, if you're eating out at the pool, you're at the pool all day, and you're eating out, uh, yesterday, I had a hot dog, it was $7. Um, we've had, um, turkey club sandwiches, which I believe was either $12 or $14. So not overly expensive. What is going to kill you here as far as cost is concerned is there is a vat. Um, and if you've been to, um, you know, the UK, there is a vat there. It is 12%. So no matter what you buy, whether it is food or merchandise, it is a 12% tax on everything that you buy. One of the other things that we're not really used to is um, there you are automatically charged a gratuity. Um, it's 15%, uh, which is pretty low if you're you know sitting down into a fine dining establishment uh, again here like Todd English's Olives. Um, because most of us, you know, usually give between 18 and 20 percent, but you can give extra gratuity, of course. Um, but if you're going to a quick service, um, if you just go somewhere and order a sandwich and they hand it to you, they are charging you 15 percent gratuity, even though you're not sitting down and getting served. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Also, what is going to kill you is the cost of water. Water is extremely expensive. Um, you will get uh, a small bottle of water for $5. If you get the large bottle, it's $11. Um, very, very expensive. Uh, we are drinking nowhere near the amount of water that we would normally drink. Um, in, a, in a day because it is so expensive and I'm going to guesstimate and say in the eight days that we have been here we have probably had probably almost $200 we've spent in water because our bodies are just craving water when you're out in the sun all day uh, you need water and it is very expensive so that is something to keep in mind the cost of water um, here at the Atlantis but I just want to kind of dispel the myth I mean if you're not eating in a fine uh, dining establishment the food itself really is not that expensive so uh, if you're coming out here be prepared for the 12% VAT that's the tax be prepared to give a 15% gratuity to uh, everyone that uh, you order from, whether you're sitting down or not, and be prepared to spend a lot of money on water.
Uh, so I hope that uh, information just it gives you a little bit of a uh, heads up of what you can expect on coming here. Um, and I hope you have a great time when you visit. Thanks everyone. Bye.